Y'all, that food was so good. I had a question if he was flirting with me. I'm not. I just said it. I just had to say it. I just had to say it. That food was so good. I didn't know if he liked me or not. I was like, is this, are you seducing me? <laughs> I swear. I didn't know. Still don't. Still don't. Hey, my little love bugs. It is Tosh Point Fro from ToshPointFro.com, and I'm back with another mukbang. Guys, today we're throwing some razzle dazzle on this whole thing. I don't know why I said that. I'm weird. Guys, today we're eating some Taco Bell. I'm excited. They have a new grilled cheese burrito. <clears throat> Yes, please. Thank you. I also have some Doritos Logos tacos, a chicken chalupa, some chips, and you know your girl got some cheese. So if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit this notification bell. If you have been here before, you already know it is time for these shout outs. <laughs> so shout out to you. Thank you so much for showing me love and commenting down below. Guys, remember, if you want to shout out, just comment down below and let me know. I try to get to you guys as much as I can, but you know, just keep commenting and you don't know if it's going to pop up. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not ignoring any of y'all. So anyways, let's pray and then get into this food. Lord, thank you. I am so happy to just be alive right now. I'm feeling the spirit. I have had such a great year so far, even though it has been a little crazy. I know that this year has been full of so much growth and I really hope that it's doing that same thing for all of my followers. I hope that they come out of 2020 even stronger, even if it wasn't how they expected, because you know, it's going to get a little crazy down here. Woo. But please continue to bless us, bless our lives, bless this food in your name. Amen. What if like, instead of saying amen, you just hit the wall? We don't like tomatoes. Like, can you imagine? This is all bread. Where the, where the, where the meat at? I've never had one of, one of their chicken chalupas. Why is it so pale though? Look at that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I was hungry. I don't know you wanted the bite, huh? I'm sorry. I should have went for the burrito too, but I hope you didn't want to bite before this Diablo sauce went on that bite, man. Because it's on now. So here's your first bite. Boom. That was really good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Should I start getting chicken chalupas, y'all? What's your favorite thing to get from Taco Bell? Comment that down below. <laughs> Mine always changes. Like back in the day, it was the cheesy gordita crunch. It's so good. And then after the cheesy gordita crunch, you know, you always you always mess with your hard shells and your and your soft shells because those are good. One of the Doritos Locos hit. Do y'all remember when those came out? Like in 2010? Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. He in X Games mode. Yeah, the thing about like TikTok. <laughs> The thing about TikTok is if, unless you're on TikTok, 
you're not going to laugh at the jokes or think this stuff is as funny. But when you are on TikTok <laughs> and you know the jokes, look at this. That's the thumbnail right there. It smells like a grilled cheese, y'all. Look at that. Take a bite. Hold up. Y'all, there's some there's some shell in is it supposed to be like that? Hold up, y'all. Hold up. They might need to put me in the lab now. Okay. So the spicy Doritos Locos taco, there was like a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to be in here or not. <clears throat> but. Oh, Jojo, you got Cheeto. There's a little shell in there, right? But it's good because it makes it all spicy. So what we going to do is, I don't know if it's in here or not, but we going to stuff this thing with some Cheetos. Okay. I feel like it's going to be better with Doritos. Good though. That's good. I would get that. Well, I did, so. Here, boy. I'm gonna cheat up. Oh my gosh. Don't you hate when you get like those one little lint hairs? And they just want to like hop on the side of your face and hold on for dear life. And you just like go away. Mm. So they do it on purpose. That's smart. Those are good. Let's just talk English. Not what did you say? English, Spanish, and French. <laughs> Listen, y'all know me. I'm not I'm not out here having a hot girl summer or anything, but yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we gotta take a second, y'all. Can I please just shout out? I think your name was Riley or Robin. Oh, I think it was Riley. I'm sorry. But to the pretty oh my gosh, she was so beautiful, y'all. I was at um 7-Eleven. And I noticed this car like pull off kind of weird. They looked like they were up on the curb. I was like, oh, that's weird. And then the car ended up turning around and like coming to the gas station and they like were on the other side of the pump that I was on. And then the back window rolls down and it's just this pretty little black girl. Oh my God, she was so pretty. I think her name was Riley. If it wasn't girl, I'm so sorry. But then her dad rolls down his window and he's like, hey, are you on YouTube? <laughs> like yeah so she gets out and we took pictures together and she just seemed so sweet she was real quiet though she sounds so sweet but she, i will tell y'all this like hold on let me take my let me take my bite hold on you get your bite first and i'm gonna tell y'all what happened after i met riley mm.
Taco Bell really could do better with these chips. Y'all could have better chips than this. Like, come on now. What's the point? So after I met Riley, like just because she was, she just seemed so sweet. Like she was just sitting there, like and we took our pictures and then she left, but I could tell that she was a little nervous, but like I was, so when I left the gas station, I just kept driving cause I was going to the store and like, I don't know where I just like started tearing up. Like I was really just about to ball out crying and I like I had my makeup on. So I was trying to hold it in. But really, like, y'all have no idea how much y'all mean to me. Oh, my God. And when I meet y'all, like, sometimes I'm not even feeling good. Like, sometimes I'm feeling down. And there was a lot of stuff on my mind that day that I met her. And I sometimes feel like that's just God sending y'all to me to, like, reassure me that I'm on the right path. Because I, I cried after I met that little girl. Like, I was in the car tearing up. Like, oh, my God. Like, the, the here's this beautiful little girl who's looking up to me. And it's my responsibility to keep like being a good role model for y'all and being somebody that can hopefully inspire y'all to want to spread positivity and kindness to other people as well. So yeah, I, um, Riley, you are beautiful, gorgeous. She had this cute, like, like her dad had locks, but she had like these like curl locks. Oh my God. She was gorgeous. <laughs> like staring at her and I just remember driving home and, and thinking to myself like driving back and thinking to myself like if that little girl looks up to me then I gotta like go harder like I gotta you know because it was it was so beautiful y'all yeah those moments really humble me they really do they make me they remind me of what I feel like is my purpose right now Y'all want to know what else humbled me? My friend. Problem solved. No, not really. I have a homeboy who humbled the heck out of me the other day. Y'all, this man can cook so good. <laughs> How dare you? Y'all, he can cook so good. I'm never going to cook for him ever. I ain't never making you anything. And you know who you are because I texted you the same thing earlier today. I am never cooking for you. You're not about to embarrass me. You're not embarrassing me. Okay. Because if you cook like this, you got a standard for food that I am not even exploring. Y'all. This man made me a see he okay. He had a seafood boil at his house. So he invited me over. Y'all. Yeah. That seafood boil was so good. I could not compliment him while I was at the house. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't. I did not need him to know. I mean, I knew he, he knew because I, he stopped eating before I did. Okay, because this is a big trough of food sitting right in front of us. And I was like... But I tasted those potatoes. He made potatoes, corn, shrimp. No, he made no corn. Potatoes, shrimp, sausage, snow crab. Did you make anything else? It was like onions and stuff in it, but y'all. Y'all, that food was so good. I had a question if he was flirting with me. I'm not, I just said it. I just had to say it. I just had to say it. That food was so good. I didn't know if he liked me or not. <laughs> Is this, are you seducing me? <laughs> I swear, I didn't know. Still don't. Still don't.
It was really bad. You know why? That boy is chef. Okay. Here's my thing. You know, us mukbangers, we going around here, we making these seafood bowls and stuff. But I, had, and we buy them too. You know, we got a red claw, boiling crab, all them. Listen, chop. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I still got time. I got a meeting in <clears throat> 40 minutes. Okay, so here's my thing, y'all. I have never had food, had seafood with that much flavor in it. I have never. Oh, I hope he does not watch this video. I really hope he doesn't because this is this is the excitement that I was not going to let him see me have. But like, because, you know, it's, it's, I can't just be out here with you can't be out here with these men like that, even whether they like you or not. You can't just be out here getting all crazy. I say my crazy for me and y'all. This is crazy for when me and you talk. Child, that seafood boil was so good. You know it's got to be good when you're wondering if somebody flirting with you or not. And then it just, like, you open up the crab legs and there was so much flavor in those crab legs. Like, there was so much flavor. I don't want to harass him by asking exactly what he did. Cause he gave me all the stuff, but he didn't like, he didn't give me a recipe, but he told me what to do. So like, y'all gonna see a seafood boil real soon and I'm gonna learn how to perfect it like he did. And then he made this butter. I swear to God, you better not be watching. I'm sorry, God, I didn't mean to swear to you. You know that you gave that man those skills though? Like you really helped, like, is that natural? Did he learn? Did he, go to, he didn't go to culinary school, did he? I'm gonna calm down now. Let's go back to eating. Um, I just really want y'all to understand the magnitude of how good this food was. Because I couldn't tell him. I don't think he watches my show, though. He sees me on Instagram acting stupid, but he don't see me on. I don't think he watches my YouTube channel. If he do, he gonna be laughing next time he sees me. Cause... Yeah. So, yeah, we just pretty much watched freaking television. And I... Well, he watched television... I just focused on eating. And it was great. Maybe I just don't know what to do with like with somebody that can cook like that. Like, like not even on like some personal stuff, but just in general. Like what do you do with somebody who can cook this well? And they're just like blowing you away. That was one meal. He has a whole restaurant and a cookbook. Y'all know I'm about to buy this cookbook. <laughs> no, I'm about to buy it. So anyways, this was a long-winded story that I was actually alluding to me telling you that he and I are going to collab because he does have a pop-up restaurant in Dallas. And I really think you guys should try it because, uh, <sighs> Jesus. So, and you know what? He's very low key. And I like that. Like he's like, doesn't want the attention he's more like listen i just like to cook i like good food so here it is but i'm gonna do a collab with his restaurant so he's gonna make me some food and we're gonna try it all together you and i are gonna try it together he ain't gonna be on camera because he don't want that he don't like that kind of thing I gotta see exactly what's in this burrito, but Taco Bell, if you did not put um, the red Dorito Locos taco shells in that, you should because it's delicious. Gives it just a little bit of kick and it adds a lot more flavor. Cause yeah, that was good.
Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. So most of this mukbang was made uh, to rant about the upcoming collaboration I'm about to do with this man's pop-up restaurant. It's called Brunchaholics, just so you guys have some reference. So when you see that I put up the Brunchaholics, uh, inst- wait, mukbang, make sure you watch it because you're just going to see a bunch of delight on Tasha's face. Don't tell him about this video, though, y'all. Don't tell him. I don't need him thinking that he's that good. I mean, I do, but like, you know, let me slide that in how I need to slide it in. Don't, don't just, you know, cause he don't need to know I'm thirsty for this food like this. He know though. I mean, I, I try to play it cool, but I'm not cool. I'm, I'm really a big dork. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal. I hope you enjoyed my silly time. I love y'all. There is going to also be a, uh, my skin routine is going to drop tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Cause I know a lot of you have been asking how I keep my skin so clear. I have actually been on a completely new skin journey. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Excuse me. And of course, if you haven't already hit the like button, share this video with somebody because that's how I grow. I love you. Follow me on all my apps, you know, Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah. Bye guys. I'll see you later.